What incorrect info did your SX ed teacher tell you? 8th grade. Curious about the pregnancy rates in your class after that little gem. The reason moms and dads can have SX without a condom is because you can't get AIDS or STDs if you're in love. That men can't be our pet because it's impossible to force an involuntary erection. My mom was ed when she found out. And made the teacher correct herself in the next session. Your mother is a hero. That the head of the penis was called the glanis. She was super excited and told us it was a little known fact since she saw it on one textbook and never saw it where else. Glanis the good witch. That a man's penis can be big enough to penetrate a woman's cervix and get into her uterus. Actually it was a humbler brag. Comma student. Coach. When you put it in. Does it go up into the uterus? Comma coach. Now. Your average man. No. But some guys. She said girls can't come. When a boy asked her to clarify he said you just mean they can't ejaculate right. That poor woman. I don't wanna talk about it and you already know what's what. Watch this video and I'll give you the answers to the test after. We had this class for 3 months and he never took any questions. That a vagina has some kind of tube inside it so when penetrating a vagina with a penis. The tube must be inserted into the penis hole before insemination in order for her to get pregnant. It didn't make sense then either. Edit. After all these robot jokes. Sounds more like a coaxial cable than anything on a human. Straight SX. 99% chance of pregnancy. Gay male SX. 100% chance of STDs and also hell. Lesbian SX. Doesn't exist. When we were 8 we were given an impromptu lesson on it and I asked where do girls we from. My teacher told me they we from the same place as boys so I believe girls we from their penis. Not wrong just not explained well. That it is impossible to pee with an erection. Of course it was a female teacher who told our class this. Every time this question comes up. There's a bunch of guys who bring this up. Myself included. Why the hell are our female sx ed teachers so convinced of this? You will never bleed through your underwear. From my bible studies teacher. A couple went to their gp suffering from what appeared to genital warts. Both were. They insisted. Virgins before marriage. The warts were. Quoth the teacher. The result of having an L intercourse. And the cleverness of God's punishment that all the evil bacteria could cause the condition. Another. My mother went to a convent. The nuns told the girls there that if they had been intimate with a boy. They should have a hot bath and pray for Mary to intercede so that nothing should happen. Mum said a number of girls dropped out that year. Due to pregnancy. Not much because he said. All you need to know is that you're too young to do it. And that's all I'm going to say about it. I was told that condoms increase your risk of pregnancy. Also fellatio can get you pregnant because the sperm knows where to go. Edit. Yes that girl got stabbed and whatever but I feel like the stabbing was the bigger deal than the pregnancy at that point. You can't abort a stab wound. Edit. If you don't believe this story I don't know what to tell you. You're very much underestimating the insanity of most of America. My town itself isn't even particularly conservative. We just had a crazy substitute teacher while our normal teacher was gone for a few weeks. I've given S all education seminars and am passionate about it as an adult so none of this thread is unbelievable to me. If you're worried about being pressured into SX. Just keep things vertical because it's not possible to have SX without lying down. Edit. Since I wasn't clear on this. The teacher said all of that. The first part is good advice. Dads of unruly daughters have larger penises. Only way that could be creepier is if your dad told you that. 10th grade. A biology teacher was answering questions and was really confident in the answers she gave. Plowman asked her what's the fastest way a girl can reach orgasm to which she replayed everyone is different but it takes at least an hour for a female to reach orgasm. I remember three of my classmates having that bitch. 
Are you high face? Periods don't hurt. You. Yes they do. I realize some people don't cramp. Even if I've never encountered a person without cramps, but still worn us. I thought I was dying the first time I had it. Oh. And they told us nothing about virginal discharge. I thought I was peeing myself a little for so long. My mother set me straight about everything. But I'm still mad that I was told so little. That women don't die during childbirth. And that was just a myth. Obviously didn't watch the documentary Star Wars. I remember specifically my teacher told us the easiest way to get a girl to have sx with you is to get her drunk. This couldn't have been more than 10 years ago either. That you can get pregnant through any type of sx. Anal. Oral. Ext. That you can't pee with an erection. I thought that she meant boys were literally physically unable to do that. Not that it was just difficult. So the first time I did it. I thought something was horribly wrong with me. I had a teacher that told me that too. I told her she was wrong. And she told me I was wrong. I told her I'd prove it. And she wrote me up. Anytime a boy has his hands in his pockets. He's hiding his erection. Vertical bar. Every boy in school made sure to always have their hands on show from that day onwards. The real misinformation here is that erections are something to be ashamed of. Not exactly incorrect but where I grew up sx said was abstinence only. I could tell my teacher wanted to teach us more but she wasn't allowed to. Unfortunate for all involved. That condoms were 80% effective per time of use. And that was only if you used them correctly. Actually condoms are 99. 9% effective over the course of a year if used correctly. Her theory was that 1 in 5 times you had sx with a condom would result in pregnancy. Or at least that's the lie she told. I never thought very much of her. And this certainly didn't help. By her logic if you had regular sx using condoms you were basically guaranteed to start a baby in a few weeks. Edit. Okay 98% effective. Doesn't change the story. Buy a box of 20 and just throw away every fifth condom. Done. Any kind of unprotected sx will 100% always result in pregnancy and aids. Prenades. Possibly not in that order. Certain teacher would omit the part about protection and imply that this was the inevitable result of s or contact of any kind. Kids know when you're trying to scare them. The whole auditorium would roll their eyes in unison. Edit. Most people choose to abstain from sx until marriage. Average penis size is 8 inches. You can imagine how that would affect self esteem. It is impossible to ejaculate while conscious unless having sx with a member of the opposite sx. This sounds like the type of teacher that has also never heard of emsturbating and has possibly never seen a penis before. Teach said the clit didn't really exist and that there was only one hole in the vagina. Scary old man. I never liked him. But I did get to go and found the truth for myself. So that was neato. Edit. Found. Not fund. Hardy ha. Well there is one hole in the vagina the vagina. The urethra is above the vagina. In my school days we never had a dedicated sx education class. But during our biology classes on reproduction we were told that homozool sx between two men would lead to jail time. Chemical castration. Guaranteed AIDS infection. And if they could get their way public hanging. Wait that is true in Saudi Arabia. That I'd eventually have sx. That women can't have or get ms unless they are being penetrated. I pity that guy's wife. The worst sx said advice I ever got was from my mother. According to her there are two likely scenarios of me dating in high school. 1. Girl will falsely accuse me of our or harassment and ruin my life. 2. Girl will cheat on me and trick me into raising someone else's baby and ruin my life. As a result. I was absolutely terrified of letting anyone know I was attracted to anyone and actively avoided girls who showed interest in me. She sounds like the type of mother who will then be upset to have no grandchildren when you turn 30. 
My SX ed teacher passed around a cup of water and had everyone spit in it. When she got it back. She compared it to having SX with multiple partners. That's a better metaphor for a gangbang than anything. Basically. Stay a virgin until your wedding night and let your husband have SX. Missionary. When he wants and you should never enjoy the act. AIDS spread to humans when a gay guy had SX with a monkey. Asterisk. Like. Straight up. Didn't imply it or anything. Just passed it off as fact to a bunch of 7th graders. That women peed out of their clitoris and that it was like a small penis. She was 28 years old. Not necessarily incorrect info. Just selective info propaganda. When I took SX ed. The emphasis was on the diseases you could get from unprotected SX. Yes. You can get STDs. No. You won't get them every time you have any kind of unprotected SX. As my SX ed courses would have had us believe. Kinda sad when your education focuses more on gross pictures of diseased genitals than how to put on a line condom. It took me a while to figure out how to put on my first condom. Only girls are pressured into SX. That you won't get pregnant right after you go off the birth control pill. So I took a break from it when I was 20. My daughter is 24. Married and is a beautiful smart RN now. In graduate school for her doctorate of nursing practice. I might not have been too smart. But she sure is. Coach Reed. Comma SX always results in pregnancy. Make sure you are ready to have a kid before having SX. Considering the abnormally high teen pregnancy rate at my school. I guess it wasn't that bad of advice. Had me terrified for a long time and opened up the door to little witch doctor level ideas for contraceptives. One girl apparently drank bleach because she thought she was pregnant and ended up with massive brain damage. That the balls go in too. That men are inherently rapists. Hardwired to be unable to control themselves. And that's why women should never be around them. Disgusting thing to say, to a 10th grade class. No less. Wasn't even a gender segregated class. Taught it to the whole class like it was fact. This was a professional SX educator the school paid to bring in every year for health class. Religious abstinence only education. Folks. They even threw the SX after marriage out the window. 2. Baffling. That all girls ejaculate when org sming. Not only is that incorrect but imagine being a girl and wondering why you didn't squirt. Something must be wrong. And imagine being a boy and thinking so many of your girlfriends were lying to you. I was taught that if you had unprotected SX. Even if all parties were STD free. You would still catch one. The teacher also described how if you had SX on your period you couldn't be seen in public for a whole week because everyone would know you were unclean. Other than that it was the normal catholic stuff. Hairy palms and the such. My health teacher told our class that it's impossible for men to be our ped. I have had to sit through abstinence only sx no ned as a substitute teacher. The creepy presenters. From a crisis pregnancy bible based center. Made these points. 1. Girls are s if they are s sewerly active before marriage. Boys should be abstinent too. 2. Steez will get you. And ruin your life. 3. Birth control fails all the time and can't be trusted. Condoms won't protect you. Birth control has terrible side effects. 4. SX is never mentioned as pleasurable. Normal activity. Only hetero. Penis vagina married SX is disgust. The chewed up gum grubby silly putty cup of class spitten logie is used. It is heavily implied that a girl's value in life is dependent upon the status of her hymen. On a related note. The presenters are now in jail. Awaiting charges evading a murderer. Talk about bad choices. I asked the SX ed teacher if you could get pregnant from oral SX. And her response was well. It is SX. I didn't pay much attention to her after this answer. Mind you. This was abstinence based SX education in the Bible Belt South. So yeah. 
He said that women grow a penis when horny. Like a boner. Edit. Well the clit will engorge a little when a woman is aroused. It sounds like he was just confused. No matter how spread a woman is you'll never see the inside of her whole bag. I've seen quite a few of those naughty videos that they fit a whole 2 liter bottle in to prove that wrong. That if women ever have sx they have ruined themselves and are basically trash and men will never want to be with them. They never said anything like that about men. During your period you might find a little blood down there. And if you look at it hard enough you can see the egg cell. Well the egg cell is visible with the naked eye. I can't imagine why anyone would want to sort through period blood to squint at it though. I don't remember my sx education. I'm assuming I've had it. But I don't remember it. I didn't know how condoms worked. I though wsx was just rubbing your penis against a woman's nether regions. Condoms don't help prevent STDs. Only way to prevent it is abstinence. That you can have safe sx by wearing a condom. I don't know how many times I've worn a condom and I'm still a virgin. He tried to tell my sister and I that we were identical twins. I'm a man. I guess that's why he teaches gym health. Edit. To be fair. How could we be fraternal if we aren't brothers? The hymen breaks the hymen is a stretchy ring. If you're sufficiently aroused lubed. It shouldn't bleed. Your first time is supposed to hurt see above. Condoms protect from all STDs not from herpes it doesn't. Being gay is a choice. This was taught in 2014. Whenever my students ask me if I think being gay is a choice. My comeback is. PSSH. I wish it was a choice. Do you know how many hot ass women have hit on me that I'm just not attracted to? It's tragic. I had a teacher who talked to us about STDs. But she said. Even if you get your test results back saying you're clean. You might still not be clean. So just wait until marriage. She also had everyone write their opinions on abortion on pieces of paper. Hand them in. And then talk about how abortion was wrong if she saw any results saying they were pro-choice. Abstinence is all you need. And an L still counts as abstinence right? Semen dies immediately after coming into contact with air. I thought as long as I came outside of the girl. I can put it right back in after. Celibacy is the only way to 100% not get pregnant. My girlfriend and I definitely aren't celibate. Lesbianism seems to be working just fine so far. She said that you can get pregnant from oral sex. And that's why you wear a condom during it. I was in 8th grade and also not an idiot. So I raised my hand and said. Um. That's not true. The sperm has to go through the vagina. When you eat food it won't go to your uterus. And you wear a condom to prevent STDs. She looked at me and told me she'll speak to me after class. Various sx equals used up object metaphor. That goes beyond incorrect. Anyone who helps spread that type of attitude needs a punch to the trachea. It's. Sx is like riding a bicycle. And marriage is like the Tour de France. You want to be good at it before the real race. If you wanna get good at it. You need to do it a lot. However. Unlike riding a bicycle. It's not okay for your parents to hold on to you until you're confident enough to go at it alone. Condoms have an 80% failure rate. Girls don't have SX drives. And if a girl drinks alcohol. It's her fault if she's arp head. Coincidentally. This same teacher ran the school's bible study club. I convinced one of my schoolmates that the entrance to the vagina was called the estuary. And he put up his hand and confidently answered a question with this word. Unfortunately the teacher put him straight. I'm doing all of my beautiful work. And told me to knock it off. You shouldn't just pull out instead of wearing a condom because precum has a high concentration of super sperm that are more likely to get you pregnant. Pulling out is a poor method. Yes. But WTF is a super sperm? 9th grade sx ed class teacher. How do you make a hormone? Class. Dot. Teacher. 
don't pay her. That a condom is 90% effective. It's probably a correct statistic from one point of view. But I figured they meant you'd get pregnant on average 1 out of 10 SS. With appropriate use I'm sure it's way higher. But on the other hand there are probably lots of inappropriate use. I do know from when I was younger. SI thoughts override practical concerns and normal cause and effect logic centers. Only 20% of women can org SM. And SX is primarily for male benefit. I had a biology teacher in Fresno who taught us that evolution was wrong. But he was legally required to teach it to us and that condoms had tiny holes in them that allowed the AIDS virus to pass through. And that therefore condoms should not be used. That masturbation was a terrible thing and unhealthy. I'd imagine the comments will show a stark difference from who went to school pre-internet and who went to school post-internet. Pre-teacher. Can you get a girl pregnant for more or less sex? Post-teacher. If you are participating in a subdom 4 way. And your main partner is bound. Is it okay to go ass to mouth with the other sub? As long as a safe word was discussed? Don't pull out. Thank god she had a miscarriage or I would sue my teacher. Seems like you may have misunderstood the teacher when they were saying not to use the pull out method of birth control. They meant. Don't rely on the pull out method you took it as. Don't pull out. Or maybe the teacher really was some crazy dumbass giving students horrible ideas. Comma thank god for that miscarriage. Comma thank god she has a miscarriage. Praise be. M-sturbation would lead to severe mental problems. That the average penis length is 8 inches. It's 5. And half of adult penis havers have something smaller than that. Essentially. You shouldn't worry. This post is 5 hours old. But even though no one is going to see it. I have to share it because it still bothers me. Our SX ed teacher told the class that guys like to m it together in the shower. Mind you. Showering after gym class or swimming lessons were mandatory. How do you convince a bunch of 8th grade girls that we didn't smack the dolphin together each week? That people have to be in love and or married before they can have sx. Jokes on them. I've been in love many times and haven't had sx with any of them. The female reproductive system looks like Bullwinkle. Not me. But I knew two girls who had heard that having more than 3 SX partners greatly increased your risk of getting STDs. One girl had been married. Divorced. And had one other partner. Her logic was. I now have to marry the next guy or I could get an STD. Was actually dare. But the officer claimed that marijuana would inhibit or guess MS. Our SX ed teacher told us that girls can m but just by slightly moving their legs or flexing the muscles in their pelvis. They could be doing it right next to you and you wouldn't even know. This was in 8th grade. For a couple of years after that. Every time I saw a girl move her legs or shift in her seat during class. I wondered if she was m right in front of me. Getting off on the thrill of no one knowing it. This was very distracting. I've never had an org SM from it. But I can get pretty close by doing that. I wouldn't say it's incorrect. That women are fertile 5 days before and after their menstruation. It's not completely false. Always assume that a woman is fertile, unless she has a specific medical condition that causes her to be infertile. Plenty of people have accidental pregnancies under the idea that a woman is totally infertile after her period. There are still chances that there is an egg to be found in one of the fallopian tubes. They said the penis is a muscle so I asked if it would grow if I exercised it. I got 3 days detention and still have a small penis. That if a woman had an abortion she would become infertile. I uh, maybe if you're using a rusty coat hanger. Health teacher here. Getting a real kick out of these. Opposite here. Shout out to one of my SX ed teachers who said one of the only things from school that I remember and actually listened to. Girls. Never fake it as you will never get anything out of it. I was told if you m then you were no longer a virgin. You Catholic school. 
Oh my god. I thought I'd be a virgin forever. SX ed teacher told everyone there are more than two SS. XX. Female. XY. Male. XI. Interzex. Clinifilter. XYY. Super male. There's four right there. And that's more than two. She went on a rant about how men can be a ped. She then went on to say that if a woman gave consent and later regretted it that they wear a ped like WTF. Yeah okay so I borrow you my bike for the weekend but then I want it back later the same day. Naturally you must have stolen it. Don't have SX. You'll get pregnant and die. Teacher told us it was unhealthy to have an erection and not do anything with it. True story. Not incorrect. But a funny anecdote. My health teacher hated abstinence only education. One day she told us she would answer any questions we had as long as we promised not to tell our parents or other teachers. The questions that were asked would make you cry. So much ignorance about SX in the room. From can I get pregnant from swallowing? To does birth control kill unborn babies? The best moment was when a guy asked if I have SX with my girlfriend while she is pregnant. Will my dick dent the baby's head? Her response. You wish. My friend and I noticed if you poke your belly button you can feel it in your cuter. We asked our male teacher about it and he was like that's not a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. That I'd appreciate the responsibility of having a child by keeping an egg safe for 24 hours. Comma throw egg away immediately. My body my choice. In SX ed. We also did learn about drugs. She said the only thing in weed was THC. I said isn't there CBD? She was like no. If you don't abstain you will get an STD. She would also hide under her desk on random days when she didn't want to answer questions.